Hey everyone, it's me, Michael Anthony Judasissi. Welcome to All Things Billy the Kid. And uh, this is, a, for me anyway, a big day, uh, the, recording the first of three uh, upcoming episodes. This one is the freakiest damn Billy the Kid picture <laughs> that you've ever seen. Um, look, I ask people, uh, much of the content that uh, is included in the shows, photographs, articles, um, social media posts, those kind of things, they all come from people just like you. And I appreciate that. I re I encourage it. And I thank you for it. Um, uh, with that said, you know, sometimes there, <laughs> there are some pretty interesting things uh, that come across my uh, desk, I guess. Um, I got an email a little while back from Angela. And uh, Angela said, hey, I you've always said that if we have a potential Billy the Kid pick, we should submit it. Can I do that? Is that cool? Blah, blah, blah. And I said, yeah, absolutely. Of course. And so Angela uh, proceeded to send me uh, the picture that I'm going to share with you today. And it, uh, look, uh, you'll, you'll make up your mind uh, as far as what it is, but, but before I show it to you, the one thing I want to talk about is there's this, uh, uh, in the Billy the Kid universe, there's this undercover undercurrent of naysayers. And I, Hey, sometimes I, I join them too, but the people that just automatically say no to everything, no, 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 no. And they don't just say no, but they're nasty about the way that they say no. Um, and they belittle uh, people and they're condescending and those kind of things. If we don't at least open up our mind to say, Hey, there could be more than we are, um, than we already know more information more documentation, more photos, the story could be different. If we're not at least open to the possibility, then how do we ever learn anything? If you're going to say no to everything up front, you're going to take a large portion of those people that are just going to take whatever they have and tuck their tail between their legs and, and go home. And so that's why I like to offer this forum to at least examine some of these things. Um, now, if you want to examining and then proving something to totally different things. That's actually four. So let's do this to totally different things. Examining means observe, look, form an opinion. Proving requires fact, evidence, provenance. Um, we're not trying to prove anything. We're examining things here. And I'm giving you in many cases what my opinion is. But if you're one of the naysayers, realize that you could be working against your own best interest. If you are a a a, a, a purebred <laughs> Billy the Billy file, uh, you know who exists in this universe of Billy the Kid fans, and you are not allowing anybody to have a fair say in in things that they think could potentially uh, be Billy the Kid related, then you're limiting your own ability to learn things. You're limiting history's ability to uh, to be augmented by things that we find out as time goes on. And so no matter how uh, silly you think the find is, um, I'm going to tell you that uh, I think you ought to leave it be and and uh, at least open your mind. Okay, so I'm going to show you uh, this photograph. I'm going to show you a closer up one, but I couldn't leave it on my screen the whole time. I think you'll see why. It's just way too freaky. Uh, this is a uh, uh, tintype, uh, and it's uh, in a, a lovely little red velvet case. Um, I have not used this, uh, this, uh, 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 there we go. There, now you should be seeing now. Okay. So what we see here is a photograph, uh, or a, a tintype with a bunch of, uh, all, most of which appear to be young men. Uh, what do we got? Six, nine young men there. And the first thing that I thought when, uh, this was sent to me by Angela was, okay, well, which one's Billy the Kid? Because I think you could make a case for several of them looking like Billy. And that, of course, is the crux of the challenge with finding Billy the Kid photos is he wasn't really that unique looking. He was just kind of a, you know, average looking cowboy from the 1870s and uh, of Irish descent and probably looked like a lot of other guys. So this is the photo. You might say, well, what's so freaky about that? Wait till I get to the enlargement and then you'll get a better uh, sense of it. 
Um, but which ones do you think are Billy the Kid or could be Billy the Kid? I, I, immediately, I look at it and go, okay, this guy over here could be. He's got a little, you know, issue with his uh, with his face as far as the the quality of the photograph. This guy here sure could be Billy. Um, Angela felt this guy up in the corner here because he had the sombrero on could be Billy. But I could, you know, make a case for that any of the three of those might potentially be William H. Bonney. Let's take a look at the... Uh, at the close-up, <laughs> you can see how this thing starts to look a little freakier. Uh, I don't know what happened to the eyes. Like, this is like Children of the Corn or something. <laughs> but this dude here freaks me the hell out, as does this guy, uh, who also freaks me out. And look at this guy's wonky eye. <laughs> like, what in the hell was going on with these guys? What were they on? <laughs> that their eye, They look like serial killers. This guy's got no eyes. This guy's got these beady, I mean, there's, there's, I'd say there's two guys that look relatively normal and that's this dude here and this guy in the back, the rest of them all have some level of freakiness to them. And, and I really, this pops up like I, in my email, the photograph I use, uh, I have an, a Mac, a MacBook, And so uh, it, the way that that mail works is it just opens the attachment. So as soon as I open that email, this thing pops up and I had to close it and move it so that it I wouldn't keep staring at it while I was trying to do my work. <laughs> um, okay, but <laughs> that said, let's let's take an examination here and see if we've got any potential Billy the Kids. There's zero provenance provided here. So, uh, you know, no... Um, uh, no uh, information about where the photo came from, uh, when it came from, who took it, no I idea or anything like that. It you know, pretty cool old photo of a bunch of young guys who were probably existing in about the right time period, right? 1860 to 1890 or something like that. Um, so this is the guy that Angela thought could be Billy because of the hat, now, he has no eyeballs, <laughs> clearly, but in any event, um, I I look at this guy and go, I don't think so. Um, he looks, his face just doesn't have that longer kind of appearance of Billy's. Um, I don't see any, you know, specifically identifying uh, marks that would lead me to believe or, or shapes of the face that would lead me to believe it's him. The guy just happens to have a broad brim, ha broad brimmed hat, which may or may not be a sombrero. You can't even tell. And that's kind of it. Uh, I don't think he looks much like Billy the Kid. This guy down here, besides not having any eyes, and I wonder who hated these guys so much that they jacked this picture up almost purposely, it seems. Um, this guy here has maybe, I don't know, a little more uh, Billy-ish look to him, right? Uh, and we can't see the eyes. The nose eh, may be pretty similar. You know, he's got a little bit of the rounded chin. Looks potentially like the ears could be close. Um, yeah, uh, shoulders, tough to tell. But, you know, he at least could be. Uh, if you were casting a movie and said, hey, I want somebody to play Billy the Kid and you can choose from these nine actors, you'd have to have this guy read for the photo, uh, read for the photo, read for the part, rather. <laughs> this dude in the middle just kills me, but we're going to move on uh, past him and we're going to go to this guy right here. This is the guy that, to me, if you're looking for a Billy the Kid in this photo, this is the guy that looks like him, at least looks, he, he's got the protruding mouth, as you can see there right his lips are holding something back <laughs> that's an interesting way to put it um he seems to have similar ears in that you know they're they're a little more pointy on top he might be part elf but yeah it looks like the ear lobes uh, are detached he's got the longer kind of rounded chin i think there's some photo defects here that uh hurt that his eyes are certainly rounder than the slits that we see for Billy's eyes in the uh, known tin type. So this guy's more of a guai lo, but the nose is slim. I mean, this is a guy, if you're going to, if you're going to cast a film, let's just use that as our analogy. Uh, if you're going to cast a film, I think this guy would be Billy the kid. I think this is the guy you would choose because he probably looks the most like him. He looks kind of tore back as they say <laughs> down South or out in the West. And uh, you know, like he's been, 
Uh, he's been out on the range. Uh, he's got some, some really interesting eyes. I can't tell. He's got eye shadow or well, ladies tell me or guys, if you use it, what, what's the eye shadow goes on top uh, eyeliner. Maybe <laughs> looks like he's got eyeliner on the bottom of his eyes. So that's, uh, uh, you know, maybe to add some drama. I'm not, I'm not quite sure, but, um, so this is the purported photo ability of the kid. So one of the things I thought is, all right, well, let's see if we can identify some of the other guys, right? If there's anybody else here that could be anybody else, maybe you got something. Um, when I look at the guy lower left here, it kind of looks like Henry Brown, um, you know, who went on to become a marshal and uh, in Kansas, if I remember correctly. So uh, these guys, especially this dude, look like they're younger, but there is some evidence that we're going to be, be able to present to you here from Brandon Dixon that Billy was probably younger by at least a couple of years than we think he was. Um, so maybe Henry Brown here. Who are some of these other guys? I look at this dude here on top or in the middle, and I think, okay, that could be Charlie Bowdry. If I had to have somebody be a Charlie Bowdry, I think that would be him. Um, you know, he's got a, I don't know, Charlie had kind of a weird shaped faced angular um, it looks like. And uh, this guy could be a young Charlie. Uh, then I start to struggle. This guy over here to me looks like Butch Cassidy. And he came along so much later that I think Butch Cassidy was probably a toddler um, during the Lincoln County War or you know, at least uh, too young to have taken part. So, uh, you know, who, who else could he be? Not really sure. Um, this dude here with the with the funny eyes, Again, not really sure who he could be. Dick Brewer, maybe. Let's uh, throw that out there. The guy in the back, the tall guy, not a clue. Doesn't look like anybody, uh, you know, well known to me anyway as a regulator. As uh, this guy over here, not quite sure who he'd be. Maybe he's a little. It's tough to tell. Maybe he's a little darker skin. Maybe of Mexican descent. So we'll just call him Chavez. Um, to go with somebody, but who in the hell is this guy? <laughs> and what was his, what was the instruction by the photographer when he took this picture? Uh, like, what, what did they tell him to do? This guy looks like he's about to eat your, your arm off or something. I mean, he, he's looking at the photographer with a, a jar of A1 in his hand, like he's a, a cannibal or something. Um, I have no idea who that would be, but if I'm going to fight the regulators, <laughs> and you know we're gonna have to go to hand-to-hand -to -hand combat or something i do not want to be fighting this dude this dude is going to eat your flesh off the bone and then he's gonna neatly wipe his you know mouth off with a a cloth napkin and then he's gonna go down the street and have a beer like that's the last guy i want to fight that's the epitome of crazy right there at least the way it looks to me so i don't think I, I don't know, but I don't think these are, this is a photo of Billy, unless he just fell in with a bunch of young guys somewhere along the way. Maybe this is Jesse Evans and that's Billy. And these are the rest of the Jesse Evans gang. I don't know, but unless he fell in somewhere by the, be, right after he left Arizona and killed Cahill and before he arrived in, um, uh, uh, Lincoln, or maybe the couple years after he escaped from prison in Silver City and then wound up on the eastern edge of Arizona. You know, maybe he fell in with some of these guys down near the border. I just don't know. But I don't think that any of these are Billy the Kid. But if any of them are, I'm going to go with this guy, lower right hand corner with the slim, long face and the beady eyes and the eyeliner as being Billy. And hey, Billy was socially like to look good, a little eyeliner. I, I don't know what it does. It Does it bring out your eyes? Is that what it does? Like make them pop? He probably would want his eyes to pop um, so that, you know, women would notice him. Um, the rest of these guys all seem to not have makeup on. Uh, so yeah, that's about the best I can tell you. But this is the uh, newest purported possible. And, and by the way, for, for you know, uh, in all fairness, Angela didn't say, hey, this is Billy the Kid. She said, hey, I've got this photograph. Uh, you know, I, I somebody's told me or uh, or I read that it could be Billy the Kid, but um, but she didn't say it was. And so, uh, yeah, this is her belief. 
This is a good looking, smooth faced dude with no corneas or no, uh, what are they, pupils? Um, with a uh, potentially with a sombrero on, but uh, I think he's, I don't think he's Billy and he's probably too tall. I think this, if I'm choosing, this is Billy. That's Henry Brown. That's Butch Cassidy. That's Chavez. That's Dick Brewer. That's Charlie Bowdry. And this is your worst nightmare. I don't know whoever the hell this guy is. I just don't know. Maybe that's Jesse Evans. Um, but uh, what do you think? Love to hear what you uh, believe in the comments uh, and uh, see if you think that we found a, a, a Billy the Kid photo. Uh, yeah. All right. Let's uh, stop that. So um, interesting. If you have photographs that you think could be the kid, well, by all means, Send them along, Billy the Kid Rides Again at gmail.com. Um, let me refresh the poll numbers here. I thought this was interesting. Uh, in light of uh, the uh, announcement of Barry Keegan um, going to be uh, at some point doing a new, let's get this here, uh, doing a new uh, Billy the Kid film. I put a poll up this just this morning. I put a poll up this morning. Goodness gracious. <laughs> See, when you have the intellect of a 12-year-old, all of this stuff is funny. For most of you, or probably all of you, that doesn't even strike you as being funny because you're mature, like functioning adults and human beings, whereas I'm not. Okay, uh, so I was curious, what Billy the Kid movie would you be most excited to see? Uh, a Billy the Kid movie with Barry Keegan, uh, which promises to be, <laughs> you know, at the, they all promise to be, you know, the true story of, William H. Bonney, just like the epic series promised to be that. Uh, but Barry Keegan says, you know, that this, we really want to tell the the true story this time. Um, Guns 3, uh, so Young Guns 3, a movie just about Billy's childhood. Um, tough to do because there's not much to go on. And so you'd have to make a lot of it up. A movie just about Billy's last night in Fort Sumner. So the July 14th. 1881 night um or <laughs> and i'm surprised this one got as many votes as it did billy the kid versus donald trump and joe biden so trump and biden team up <laughs> as a uh to uh defeat the uh, world's most infamous outlaw and billy the kid has to fight them 17 <laughs> percent now only 29 uh 29 votes so far <laughs> but 17 percent of you want to see billy the kid versus trump and biden um and you know it's just with indie film it's just a stupid enough idea that it, it actually could, it actually could work. Like I think you can make money at that. The problem, of course, is uh, you can make a film about anybody you want, but they can also sue you. And I'm sure Trump would. And you know, I'm, I don't know that Biden would let too much get past him or his team anyway. Uh, when you have a uh, a person who is is deceased, that you cannot defame a dead person, so you don't need any permission to write a book or a film about their life, but you certainly do for somebody who's alive. So that one may need to wait a while, Billy the Kid versus Trump and Biden. Uh, but the other ones, uh, it looks like Guns 3. So even though uh, people realize that Guns 3 is, I think you realize, is going to be the brushy Bill story, like what happened after that night in Fort Sumner, and then how did Emilio Estevez slash Billy the Kid get to uh, Governor Mabry's office in 1950. Um, they that's the story that people want to see about one third of people. But I was actually surprised. Let's have a quick refresh here. See if anybody's voting as we speak. Um, no, not yet. Uh, 24 percent. A quarter of you said, "Yeah, a movie just about Billy's last night in Fort Sumner." Uh, I have actually uh, written that film, or at least half of it. Um, don't know that it'll ever be made uh, because of the economy of making indie films right now. But I wondered that the biggest challenge when you when you're making smaller films, obviously, is just raising the money. If you have money, you can make anything you want. Money buys you time. Money buys you talent. Uh, if you have no talent and no time, <laughs> then you have no film. Um, but but most of the crowdfund people have said, oh, you know, go do a one of those uh, uh, GoFundMe or uh, I'm trying to think of some of the other Indiegogo or something like that. Um, most of those things fail miserably for, for film anyway. Um, I mean, 
really, really fail like big time. Um, and I think the reason is what I've seen in my very limited experience with that is that people would pay 10 bucks to watch a movie, like to get people to go to a theater, as long as it's a movie they want to see, not very difficult. They'll pay their eight or nine or 10 bucks. They'll pay for the popcorn, the soda. If you go to Flicks, where, where we like to go, then you can eat a meal and have a, a beer or something. Um, so they'll do that, but they won't take the same 10 bucks and donate it to have to, to help make the movie. It's just a, it's a, a disconnect between, you know, what, what I'm going to do with this $10 and what the ultimate result is going to be. That's what I've seen. It's just a, a huge indifference to people. Uh, so I always wondered about trying to change the perception of the mindset and say to people, I don't want you to fund me making a movie about Billy the Kid. What I want you to do, if you want to see the movies, buy your ticket now. Or in other words, here, here's here's the button to buy your ten dollar ticket to see the Billy the Kid film, the last night in last night in Sumner, and then as soon as it's finished, we'll send it to you. Um, it, the exact same <laughs> uh, 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 process as crowdfunding, but a different idea of why you're doing it. So uh, yeah, if you've got ideas, because if you want to see a movie about Billy's last night in Sumner, and I, I've written mine in real time, essentially the last, well, it's not done, so I can't tell you how many, how many minutes, but 95 minutes or so. 95 to 100 minutes of Billy's life in real time. As the things are happening, the clock is ticking inexorably down to 11.57 p.m. or whatever the time might be, where there was a showdown of somebody in uh, Pete Maxwell's bedroom. Yeah, if you have ideas about crowdfunding, about raising funds to that, I'd love to make it. I think it'd be a great film um, for for Billy the Kid folks. Um, but, you know, got to you got to have money so you can buy time and talent and uh uh so yeah I'd love to hear from you billy the kid rides again at gmail.com all right we've seen the freaky picture um I'd love to again hear your thoughts on is that billy uh or <laughs> are those guys even human is it a zombie uh, photo from the 1870s or something um last bit of a uh a uh, little pitch here is that you can uh, go a long way towards supporting the channel by picking up my Back to Billy series of books, and they're available on Amazon, Barnes & Noble, all your booksellers worldwide at this point. Um, but if you just go and pop uh, pop, <laughs> pop my name, Michael Anthony Judicici, into Amazon, uh, you'll come to my author's page, and that's where all the books are. The entire seven book series, book eight is already completed, book nine will be started shortly. Um, and, uh, you'd want to start, I finally got my own copy actually, <laughs> because since I'm doing this through a distributor, I'm not stocking cop, uh, copies here anymore, but I got the second edition, totally rewritten, uh, back to Billy, uh, book. And I really felt like this was the one that was the weakest. That was my first ever novel. And so I wanted to dig in and rewrite it and did that, but this is the one to start with, read it. It's a complete story. Uh, the last words to the story are the end. <laughs> uh, but um, the, you may be left with some questions about what happened to certain people, what you know, what went on next. And so if you get captured by this one, there's six more you can read. Plenty to keep you warm during this uh, ridiculous winter that we're having. And you can find that on Amazon, Barnes and Noble. Yeah. And, and that really does support the channel, right? Because it gives me more time to uh, be able to go out and uh, do some more on-site videos. You can't see my project board and I'm not going to tell you what's on it. I'll tell you one of the things that's on it. Um, but there's five on-site videos slash recreations that I have planned for this year. Um, and one, Oh, somebody's really interested. Oh, that might be good or uh, bad news. I guess we'll we'll <laughs> wait for that a little bit. Um, but uh, one of them is the uh, Tunstall murder site. And if you uh, haven't seen, just go back one episode and see my interview with Brandon Dixon, um, who walked us through really kind of step by step, minute by minute, what happened out there. But I want to get my feet on the ground and film it for you. And I want to show you where 
Tunstall was, where the posse was, why Tunstall got confused, where the regulators stationed themselves. I want to show you the whole thing. Um, and Brandon will talk us through that. And I've got four other ones that I think you'll love. So uh, again, you can help the uh, the cause by uh, going and uh, picking up a book or 10. Um, that's it for this episode, but <laughs> I'm coming right back to film two more uh, and uh, some good, uh, good information that's uh, always user submitted. So or uh, viewer submitted. So thanks so much for that. I'll see you next time on all things Billy the Kid. You take care and bye.